Hello everyone, it's Granny Gamester here with Conan Exiles and I have decided to try out different weapons. Now for those of you who have watched me from episode 1 on, knows that I favored the sword and shield in the very beginning because that's what I usually use in a lot of the games that I play, especially with Dark Souls. Um, although I was a spellcaster, I also um, had the sword and shield. Um, this game, I tried the double-handed great sword, and I liked it a lot. Um, it had a good reach on it, although it was a little slow on the mechanics. It does have a nice um, sweeping uh, mechanics to it, which, which makes it kind of nice. Um, now the two weapons that I have chosen to use today, this I'm going to start out trying the daggers of Dagon. Now the health damage is 58 on these, the armor penetration is 18%, um, it causes bleed and cripple, and the durability is not that great, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'm going to equip these. Oh, look at those. Ooh, those are nasty looking. Yeah. Well, let's see what the mechanics are with these. Okay, that's L1. Oh, so L1 once, twice, three times. Nice. Okay, L2. Well, that's a nice sweeping. Yeah, that works. Oh, and that's my back flip. That's R2, or L2. This is R2. And R1. Yeah. Well, all right. Um, on well, the back flip. All right, let's see what we can do with these little beauties. Um, I'd like to get one of these at a time. That would be nice. Um, Mr. Wolfie would step forward. Come on there, Wolfie. Come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Uh oh. Whoa! I gotta be careful where I do that. I think I like the roll out of the way better. See, with these, you, you've got to get right in close. Um, well, you know, that didn't go too badly. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, I got beat up a little. <laughs> Just a little. We'll recover. Uh, come on. Oh, there it goes. The, the blood around the edge of my screen. Alright, there's the next wolf. Come on, boy. Oh, he's crippled. Well, he was. 
Um, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I heal a little quicker than that. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh. Wow. That did him in really fast. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yep, it sure did. Am I still regenerating very slowly? Let's see if I can speed it up a little. Here we go. Now, I haven't been here so many times. I know there's some guys with some shields down there, which they could probably pose a pretty good issue here. I'm probably... Oh, Whoa! Don't get caught in there, Granny. Get them down here. Oh. on them. Bleed on both of them. That's good. Let me regen a little bit here. I'll run them around. Surprise! Woo! <laughs> I thought it was a surprise, but... Yeah, he bled to death. <laughs> Excellent. Well, um, these are these are not bad guys. And again, they're they're daggers of Dagon. Um, later game, you won't get these in the beginning of the game. Um, but then again, uh, your enemies in the beginning of the game are are not this. Powerful. These guys are pretty strong. They have a little health too, so. I think there's one more of them around here somewhere. I don't know where he comes from, but maybe it's over here. Ah, oh, here he is. I knew he was somewhere. Oh gosh, there's two of them. <laughs> oh, there's three of them. Oh no. I don't know if I can take on three. Ouch. Yeah, this this is a much closer battle. Whoa. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Oh, wouldn't you know, it's dark. <laughs> ah! Where are they? Oh, I cannot see them. <laughs> All right, where's my little camp? Oh, there it is. Yeah, they left. Good thing. Well, yeah, that's kind of futile doing that in the dark. <laughs> Doesn't work too well. But, um, yeah, I, I like these daggers. These are great. Yeah, not bad at all.
I'm glad I bought brought a lot of those um, healing potions though with me. Jeez. Yeah, I think um, especially with a thrall, a low level thrall even, I think I could do fine with these. Yeah. Um, I would have to, like with a sword and shield, you know, you have to be um, really careful of your position when you have your shield up that someone's not coming behind you because it makes you really vulnerable. And you cannot parry in this game. And that's unfortunate because that's a lot of fun if you, if you can get the grasp of it. It's a lot of fun. It took me a long time to learn how to do that. All right, so my next weapon of choice was um, a mace. So this is the unintelligible. It has a health damage of 57. It has an armor penetration of 28%. Um, it's a legendary weapon, so again, you probably find it after you kill a, a, a big boss, a three skull boss, and he gives you a key. Um, it has, <coughs> excuse me, a bonus of survival and encumbrance, which is nice, and it has a shield smash. So uh, we're going to try that. So let's take those off and grab that. And the shield that I'm going to use is Mistmorn. has a health damage of 45, an armor penetration of 14%. It's a legendary also, and its bonus is it's heat insulated. Um, so it protects you from the warm climate. I don't need it here, obviously, but um, we're gonna we're gonna try it and see how this goes. Uh, I mean, don't usually favor blunt weapons at all. Um, I just I don't know. They got to be pretty darn powerful, and I don't feel this one is. I'd like to see it up around 70. Oh, I'm already getting blocked up against the wall there. See, the wolf is coming behind me. Ouch. Oh! Well, he's down. Ah! Wolf might get me, though. Ooh, I'm bleeding and slundered. Ah, look at him coming around after me, you dog. I think we're both going to die. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, let me stop healing. <laughs> no. Wow, I just made it. Just made it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, the danger here is uh, letting them get behind you. That's just not good. And, uh, yeah, I'm not so sure I like the blunt weapon. I probably will die here for sure. Let's put another group of potions up there. I seem to be going through them like candy. Alright, so they regenerated already up there. Uh, like I said, this is 57. That's really not a lot. Nope, not for a blunt weapon, it is not. Now, give him down. 
down here. Oh, I hate that when I get turned around. quick enough for that one. Dang, that wolf is nasty. Whoa! <laughs> the wolf is down. <laughs> Yeah, if I had my druthers, I think I would stick with the with the daggers of the two here. This isn't bad. It's not bad. Um, but I wonder how it would do against the shields here. Yeah, that seems like it takes a long time to just beat him to death, you know. Uh, that's another thing a uh, uh, shield will do for you. trenching off in him. Um, I wonder how it would work with smashing these guys' shields. down here too far they'll disappear on me. I don't want to do that. I'm going to see if I can uh, break his shield here. Ouch! Don't turn your back to him. That's another thing with this game. You cannot lock on to your enemy. Yeah, you put your shield up, you. Ouch! Yes! <laughs> Phew! 
Yeah, it's coming back to me. Yeah, the old sword and shield, the old mason shield. Yeah, there's definitely a, uh, a pattern to that. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot more work, I think. Um, you have to fight close up um, versus the the range that the the great sword gives you. I mean, it's so long you really don't have to get on top of them. Whoa! Some of these other games, you know, when you lock on to them, um, you don't turn your back to them once you lock on. So this is, this is actually um, much harder fighting uh, because you have to keep yourself in front of them. And when they're dancing around like that, that's not easy to do to make sure your, your left analog stick is not putting you behind them and, and in front of them and wherever you don't want to be, so. Yeah, well, um, huh. Um, what do I think? Uh, this is a nice little mace. I didn't do badly with it. How it would do with a big boss? Um, I don't think it has the advantage of, of bleed. Um, when you're fighting um, shield smash, uh, you know, that that's probably good for these kind of fighters, but um, bleeding cripple is definitely better for, I think, the bosses, because you can run in there and um, make them bleed and then, you know, beat feet out of the way. Uh, so of course, some of these bosses are a little quick and, and it doesn't happen as easily as I'm making it sound. <laughs> But that's why you bring your thrall with you, right? Yeah, I think this game was designed that way anyway. Um, you really have to bring your thrall with you if you're going to um, beat any of these bosses because some of them are just so beyond you and you cannot build your character up. I mean, I'm level 60 and um, my... Whoops, we don't do that. My... Um, Attributes. You can see I've got my strength at 34, and my vitality at 34, um, and my grit at 22. And um, you know, I I feel my strength is is right up there. But when you look at my stats, I mean, my defense is is 472. My melee is is 96. And the damage from my weapon is 57. Where is my vitality here? This is not going to tell me in that one. Um, what if I pull this one up? Yeah, it's only 178. I mean, come on. <laughs> or, or 472, I'm sorry. Uh, no, that's... Yeah. And that's, you know, that's nothing compared to what your thrall is. I mean... My best thrall is is so much better, so um, you can't compete with that, right? Right. Um, yeah, if I'm reading that wrong, let me know. But that's that's the way it, it looks to me, and uh, yeah, I don't know why they don't um, give you a little more. I mean, I'm almost to the to the maxed out on my strength, and I could do that. But when you do that, you have to sacrifice something else. So. I don't know. I don't know. I'd be interested in any comments on, on what you find is the best um, ratio of stats to have. So, Okay. All right. If you liked, give me a like. And if you'd like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit the little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. GG out.